the stories you need to know about coming up next. And man's best friend can be a healer. We are going to tell you more about how pets can provide excellent therapy. Look at that handsome fellow. That's when Wake Up Today returns. Thank you, Kelly. Pets are good for our health in more ways than one. That's why the Hawaiian Humane Society tries to bring pets to people who can't own them. Jeff Hendricks and his dog, Kai, hello, are volunteers with the Humane Society's program. Good morning. Good morning, Diane. Your dog is so well behaved. Most of the time. Really? Retrievers are my favorite. He just collapsed at my feet. So, Jeff, you guys are called Joy Ambassadors. Tell us about this program. Actually, this guy is the Joy Ambassador. I just follow him around. Oh, okay. But <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, it's all good. Um, it's a great program. It's set up to uh, uh, on the fact that uh, pets reduce anxiety and improve overall well-being. Actually, scientifically, it's been proven repeatedly that the interaction between pets and people um, increases the feel-good neurotransmitters, things like serotonin, oxytocin, dopamine, and um, all, we all need those hormones for our, our good mental and physical health. How long have you guys been doing this? We've been doing it for three years. We volunteer at Straub. Tell me what it's like when you go in and you cheer up patients. It's amazing. Um, we have a miracle connection or um, something magical happens every time we go. Um, my favorite story is one where we went into an old man's room and he must have been in his 90s, very frail. He was in the fetal position on his bed. His eyes were closed and there was a lady in the room with, with us and that was his daughter and she was in her 70s. And the social worker said, would your father like to meet Kai, our therapy dog? And she said, oh no, my father has two feet, one foot in this life and one foot in the next. And I was just like stunned. I had never oh. heard that before. And so we left the room, but she chased us down the hall and she said, come back, come back, let's see what Kai does, what happens. And so we walked back into the old man's room, his eyes were still closed. Kai walked straight up to the bed, he put his chin on the old man's bed right by his face, and when the old man opened his eyes, his eyes lit the room. They oh glittered, my gosh. they oh my just gosh. glistened. And the lady started to cry and she said, oh my gosh, my father has two feet in this life again. Oh, so that that's why so I do beautiful. this. so beautiful. That's why I do this. Oh my gosh. Dogs, they seem to know they have this intuitive sense about yeah. what, what all is happening. Exactly. More realistically, your dog is really well behaved because mine would never do this. She'd be bouncing everywhere. Do <laughs> you have to take her to dog training? I mean, what does it take to sign up? Yeah, actually, um, it's not, not too difficult. There are some, the Hawaiian Humane Society does an evaluation and there's some basic obedience that needs to be, you know, checked out and there's a health uh, a cert certificate basically yeah. that's needed and um, they want to make sure that the dogs don't get nervous around wheelchairs or crutches and that sort of thing so it's not that difficult uh, yeah. to get involved uh, that people can go to hawaiianhumane.org to learn more okay that was a, such a beautiful story I think it would inspire both people wanting to volunteer as well as programs just reaching out for a little bit of assistance thank you for sharing that with us oh sure and thanks for bringing your gorgeous dog in